The grocery store might be the most notable to see the storing effects of technological changes on consumers, companies, and American workers. To keep up, stores are building warehouses staffed by robots and use devices that chart the quickest path through the aisles. What did big companies do? Grabango, which raised $39 million in Series B funding, makes shopping checkout free. Instead, ceiling cameras catch what shoppers put in their cart. Shoppers pay by scanning an app when they leave. Customers push the dash cart through a particular lane at Amazon Fresh stores, where sensors tally items and charges whatever credit card shoppers use with Amazon. Israeli startup Walkout retrofits existing carts into small carts that tally items, then scan the list to self-checkouts, traditional checkouts, e-wallets or grocer apps, while also displaying promotions or shopping suggestions. Main Street Market in Minnesota charges customers $75 for an annual membership, which gets them 24-7 access, even after staff has gone home. Customers pay with an app or self-checkout. What about average buyers? So far, a relatively tiny percentage of Americans are skipping the supermarket to order online, and how stores and their staff are navigating the unexplored future of groceries. The most significant change is that many more people throughout the pandemic started ordering groceries online to collect at stores or for deliveries at home. Shopping online snowballed, but it's still not huge. It's less than 10% of grocery buying at the moment. Even that relatively minor change is the biggest shakeup in the industry in years and a challenge. For every order that we pick up at the store or have delivered, someone is performing grocery shopping for us. Grocery stores certainly don't have a lot of financial wiggle room. The industry standard is approximately $5 in profit on a $100 grocery purchase. Grocery sellers are trying to manage this, making store workers more efficient at putting together grocery orders to keep down costs. One executive told me that every second counts. Some stores use handheld gadgets that direct workers to the quickest route through the store to the 20 things on a shopper's list. Some food packaging has transformed, so a worker doesn't have to spend time weighing a pound of apples. Instead, he can grab a pre-made bag of apples. Grocers are in this inconvenient phase where they don't know how future generations will want to shop. So grocery stores are attempting to do double duty as places for in-person shopping and online order assembly lines, similar to an Amazon warehouse. One difference is that most people don't understand what happens in an e-commerce center. The changes in grocery store management and jobs are happening where we're driving our shopping carts. It's such an obvious example of how technology changes our lives in one of the most ordinary places in America and a large workforce. How do store workers feel about the moves in their jobs? It varies. Some like the stimulation and physical activity of walking through a store and putting together grocery orders. Some employees felt ground down by how much their work was guided by automated systems and regulated by how fast they assembled orders. But can grocers focus on making grocery pickup and delivery better for everyone involved? The Kroger supermarket chain has headlined for investing in massive automated warehouses with robots that the company says will ultimately do much of the work of putting together grocery orders. Other companies are testing mini warehouses attached to the stores that are designed to solely assemble online orders. Most grocery stores can't waste what Walmart or Amazon do to invest in new technologies, and some of the technology that ensures to help grocers or store workers complete the manner of picking and packing online orders might be hogwash. So there might not be an ideal future for shoppers, supermarkets, and grocery workers.